Hi again. So I was asked to discuss sort of some metrics that um, you can use to get kind of as a baseline so you know what's going on. The first thing to realize is rowing, for rowing, is a 2,000 meter race. That's basically a six minute race, depending on the, the boats. The bigger boats go faster, obviously, the smaller boats go slower. But when, when real rowers test on this machine, uh, they, what they're doing is a, they're doing a 2,000 meter piece. And uh, now, but it's very common, you know, for people who like to row on the machine or train or in training programs to do 500 meter sort of challenges to see how they stack up. So um, just so you know, like world class for 500 meters is 119, 120. Um, these are the best rowers in the single who are generally is accepted they are the best rowers. That's the times that they're doing for 500 meter pieces, for 500 meter sprints. Um, but keep in mind that they might not be the best in the world. They're the best rowers. In other words, they row well, they row boats efficiently and fast, and that's the time they're putting in. So if someone told me, yeah, some guy did a 117, I'd be like, sure, but can he row? You know? And uh, so anyway, that's sort of a good metric. Uh, another, uh, on the other end uh, of, I guess, the, the, the spectrum, the world record for an hour, for an hour piece, is holding 135s. Think about that. That's pretty much carrying the luggage. So um, common sort of testing uh, uh, workouts in rowing um, that, you're, that athletes are measured by is very common to measure. Uh, well, two Ks, in real rowing, one only really measures quicker than that. Uh, five Ks a little bit, six Ks a lot more. Um, and so if, some, so if an athlete can hold 6K, if a college athlete can row a 6K and he's in the 136s or so, he's doing a really good job. Um, and then um, back when I rode, uh, we did a, a 10K. And um, I mean, the best guys back then in the 10K uh, were in the low, low 130s. So um, anyway, I hope that answers your questions. All right.